Alright guys, I just wanted to show you my new project. Felt bored today, so I decided to do something with a broken laptop I had. It was a Toshiba 505A-6005. Um, and I bought it as a parts computer for my dad's laptop. Uh, the screen was broken, the keyboard was broken, um, the case was in really bad shape. So I decided to take it apart and uh, use the only thing that was working on it, which was the motherboard. Uh, the CD drive and a, that's a new hard drive and new RAM because it didn't come with any. So I decided uh, I had an old uh, LCD backing uh, acrylic or um, yeah, I think it's acrylic. I don't know what it is, but I had one laying around and I had an old um, TV stand. I mounted my TV to the wall and I had that left over. And I had that. So I thought, oh, well, let's go ahead and uh, just mount it on there and see what happens. So I tried it with a power source that I had uh, and it booted up and everything. Uh, it worked okay, but the power source, source was uh, overheating really badly because it was old and uh, I think it has a short in it somewhere. So I ordered a new one so I could, can't really do any uh, videos of it running right now, but I'm going to upload some uh, new ones. So I have all the LED lights up here working. Um, I don't, I can't have to label them, but they're all working up here. The DVD drive's working, the new hard drive's uh, already operating, uh, it's got Windows 7 in it, uh, 4 gigs of RAM, uh, the fan's got enough space in the back to get uh, good ventilation, and then uh, it looks kind of weird because all this is empty over here, but uh, all the ports over here, HDMI, VGA, uh, the eSATA, uh, and uh, microphone and uh, audio are over here, so I need space for the wiring to go over here. Um, I have a USB down here, I have the power button, um, I took the whole assembly from the laptop, um, I even took the actual button, which you don't need, you can press the small button, but it just looks better. Um, this was mounted with some uh, just bolts I had laying around. And then um, over here I have two more USBs. Um, if you look at this, the hard drive is actually pretty far off. I can stick my whole finger underneath it and that's because technically this was the bottom of the laptop so this was lower than the where the drive is so I had to make this little bracket here it's just off of a PCI card uh, uh, the, the, the metal brackets in the back I just cut it up and made it bent it got it to work um, the only place I could find for the power source for it to be strong enough to um, withstand some power is or withstand pushing in and out is right up against the drive. Um, the power supply is a 90, so it goes out and then it goes straight down. So this doesn't have a problem clearing it. So I'm okay there. Um, I might have to remount that somewhere else. Right now I'm just using double-sided tape, which I'm actually using for most of this. Um, these are held on by double-sided tape. Um, this one's held in by double-sided tape, but it also has these uh, two screws on each side. Um, but this is one of the stronger mounting points. I use this one for uh, anything that I have to move. Like um, if I have to plug in my external hard drive or something like that, I use this. Uh, these two are right now, like as you can tell, this is for the mouse and this is for my keyboard. Because um, I'm going I'm to plug them in once and just leave them in there. Um, the video card works. That works up here. And then, as you can tell, the whole thing is actually off the back, so you don't want you don't want this touching directly. Um, what I did end up using is I ended up using um, just the metal bracket uh, that came in the laptop. I cut it up and I used some of the mounting points, like here, here, right down there, and then here. Um, I can use this one here, but I don't have the right bolt for it or the right um, washer for it, so I need to get something for that. But I can. I'm eventually going to cover that up as well. Um, but yeah, everything's working. I uh, cleaned it all up. Uh, this is the back of it. Um, these things right here are actually the Wi-Fi. Uh, I wanted to have Wi-Fi. Um, this is just the wiring. It's super long because it wrapped around the LCD. Um, so I just kind of taped it back here. I didn't want to just bunch it up, make it flat as make it as flat as I could. Um, but you can tell, see there's a double-sided tape back there down here. If I needed to, I could go through and just bolt um, bolt, bolt the back plate as well, but it's strong enough. Yeah, this is held down by double-sided tape. Double-sided tape. Um, so, 
I have full Ethernet as well, so I could have taken the Wi-Fi out, but that kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, then I'd have a whole Ethernet port, then an HDMI port, then power, just a lot of cables. So I prefer the Wi-Fi. And it was pretty easy. These things were just stuck on the back of the, uh, behind the LCD. I undid it, but there wasn't enough residual um, a glue in the back, so I ended up just using some electrical tape. This is green, so you can use whatever color, I guess. But, so yeah, um, it ended up being cheaper to just do this to the laptop than it is to repair it. The screen was going to run me about a hundred and something dollars. Uh, the new it needed a new battery because this was water damage, actually. Uh, you can kind of tell on some of this right here. Uh, let me see. Come on, focus. Focus, focus, stupid phone. Uh, let's see. Well, you can tell on the copper here, there's um, like all these stains. And that's all from water damage. This thing was literally, they dropped a, a cup of water on top of it. So I was surprised the motherboard actually worked. I had to give it an alcohol bath and then scrub it all down and put new RAM because of the RAM fried. Um, I had to put new uh, paste on the, on the processor because it was overheating. But now it's working well. It's actually running really cool right now. Um, it's, well, it's got to be pretty much free flow. And then also the hard drive burnt out, so this is a new uh, 500 gig um, Hitachi. I got it on, I don't know, I think, um, eBay, I think. It's, uh, it was a used drive, but it's working, so I don't have a problem. I could have uh, hooked up a new battery to it down here, because it's, it's actually working. It will charge a battery, but the battery head on it was bad, so it wouldn't charge. But um, I tried uh, my dad's battery, and uh, his is charging and working. So I could have uh, put a battery in here and have uh, at least like two hours of backup. But then it would have looked kind of weird with you know having a huge battery down here. So if I ever need to, I, get, I can put a battery on there and just, I don't know, tape it down or make a bracket for it or something. But, uh, you know, I, this is going to be more of a desktop anyway. I'm not going to be carrying it around or anything. Um, so yeah, it's working. Uh, like I said, when I get the new power supply... Um, I'm going to post, post some videos of it running, um, and I'm going to build a cover for it. So I'm going to cover all this up, and then just leave this open over here on the side, you know, for all the wiring and all the ports, and then the heat, uh, heat vent. So all this is going to be open here, and then all this, I'm going to probably put a cover on top of it, just to prevent people from poking at it and doing stupid things like people normally do. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll post a video of it running, um... I'll hook it up to my uh, monitor and I'll record it um, working. I'll look at some temperatures and I'll show you guys all that uh, when I get the chance. So, uh, 